What's up Outdoorsman Greg here and today I'm showing you what I think is the most ultralight public land legal climbing method. For those of you that have watched my channel for a while, you know I am a believer in ultralight, low bulk, simple, easy to use gear. And what I think I found is the most ultralight public land legal climbing method. I'm also a big fan of climbing spurs. Where they're legal, that's my climbing method of choice. However, they're not legal in all areas because they puncture the tree. Uh, anywhere where you can't use a screw-in tree step, you probably can't use climbing spurs. You probably are using lone wolf sticks, muddy sticks, hawk helium sticks, some kind of climbing stick, or a strap-on product from Bullman Outdoors or the like. What you might also be using is the wild edge step ladder. For those of you that don't know, this is a wild edge step ladder. It's a really simple product. It's very sturdy once you get it in the tree. It's light, it only weighs a pound. And with about five of these, you can get to 25 plus feet at hunting height. So for five pounds, you can get pretty much as high as you need to get. Now for most of you climbing, hunting, running gun, public land style hunting, you're probably using a climbing stick, like this muddy stick or a lone wolf stick. Now with these two little continuous loops of am steel, you can climb much higher with fewer sticks, less weight, less bulk. The next thing you're gonna need are two pieces called a nader and a suader. Now the nader and the suader were invented by a couple of guys on saddlehunter.com, Peter and Swamp Sniper. And I believe Peter invented the nader and then Swamp Sniper invented the suader. This is a nader. It goes around your knee, hence the nader, and it's this, this weight-bearing hook. For those of you familiar with Lone Wolf products, this is a, a buckle from a Lone Wolf uh, connector strap. This hooks on to your Amsteel continuous loop or it hooks onto the rung of the step ladder if you're using a step ladder. You fasten this around your knee and the loop goes underneath your foot and then you have a O-ring that you just cinch down on top of your boot and it keeps the nader in place. This is the suader. The length of it should go from the ground to your hip. That's how long this loop should be. This is just a continuous loop that I've sewn here into a loop. This has the same O-ring that cinches down on top of your boot to keep it in place. This clip is attached to a bungee cord. This carabiner is not load bearing. It attaches to your hip. I use it, I attach it to the lineman loop on my Mantis saddle. And that just keeps this carabiner in place. It rotates it up when you're climbing to make it easier to use. And it also keeps it hanging out of the way so you don't have to deal with this while you're climbing. It keeps it connected to you and right where it needs to be. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get to the tree is put on your saddle. I hunt out of a tree saddle, out of a tethered mantis, and that's my safety harness and my hunting stand all built into one. That allows me to be connected to the tree from the ground all the way up through the climb so it's super safe and there's really no way I can fall. If you're using the wild edge step, you wanna tie it at about neck height. Neck to chin height is about perfect. Attaching your wild edge step is really easy. You put the base of it against the tree, you bring the rope around, all this is at about neck, chin height. You bring the strap up, just like that, pinch it here. Then what I like to do is I make a loop, twist the loop one time, that loop goes back underneath the main rope, around your standoff, and that's it. Tighten it down, and that's the knot. Then you just get your standoffs, right here, this is a standoff, about even with the, the rope here, until you can cam it over. And once you cam it over, that thing is rock solid. It's going nowhere. Once you're ready to climb, you attach your wild edge step at neck to chin height, and then you grab your carabiner, pull your leg up, clip to the rung of the step ladder, and then you can step up. The next step is with your nader. You take your knee, it goes straight up, hooks to the rung of the metal step, then you can release the carabiner from the suader and go ahead and climb up. 
All the while, you have your lineman belt connected to the tree so you're nice and safe. Now, my lineman belt with my Mantis saddle lives right here in my hip. It's girth hitched right here to my lineman loop. I just pull this out, pass it around the tree so I'm safe. That connects back to the other hip. Now, I can lean back into that and I am fully connected to the tree and I'm ready to climb. You going to make sure you have plenty of slack in here. Then what I like to do, what I learned from Peter's video, which I'll link to in the description below, you flip it up so your lineman belt's nice and high. Then you grab your suede, which helps you pick up and clip onto the wild edge step. See that? Now I'm supported by this webbing around my foot then I can go ahead and climb I'm pushing back into my lineman rope that is supporting me so I can pretty much be hands-free if I needed to the next step is to go ahead and take my nader right here this hook is going to go straight over the rung just like that now I'm supported with this webbing here all the way up to the hook I can move my lineman rope up and now I'm ready to step up. Once I step up, I can disconnect my carabiner and I'm ready to continue the climb. That's it. Now I could just repeat the process as many steps as I had. I'm getting about five foot per step ladder. So five steps will get me all the way up to 25, 30 foot, including my platform. Coming down is, this, is a similar process. Just let your lineman belt fall down. First step is to hook your nader hook over the rung of the step ladder. The hook and the webbing is taken all the way. The strap around your knee is basically just keeping it in place. So now I'm ready to come down. I take my carabiner. I clip it. Now I can put my weight there. Now you can see I just unhook my nader and I'm completely ready to come down from the tree. It's that simple. Pull in, drop your lineman belt, and then you can come all the way to the ground. Then when you're done, you just take your carabiner, pull up, clip off, it's out of the way, completely down on the ground. Guy on SaddleHunter.com that's kind of pioneered this method, Peter, he shows a, he has a really good video explaining exactly how it works. So I'm going to link to that in, in the description below. I'm also going to show you how this works with climbing sticks in case you don't have wild edge steps. This is a lone wolf climbing stick. If you girth hitch a loop right here at the bottom, one of these, two of them, you can attach your nader to one and your suader to the other one. You want to set your climbing stick so the bottom of your stick is about neck, chin high. That's the perfect height for clipping into your nader and suader. This allows you to get much higher per stick, whereas normally I would set this about face height at the top of my stick so I could easily step up onto the first step. Now I can move that way up, basically as high as I can reach so I can get a lot more distance with each step. That allows me to carry fewer climbing sticks, which reduces my weight, reduces my bulk, and makes me a more efficient hunter. I like to set these about neck high. So I'm gonna put my stick right here. I'll pass that around. Attach that just like I would in a hunting scenario. Pull that rope down and through. Now that stick is locked on and I've got my two loops right here. Now I'm not gonna do this with the lineman rope just so I can show you so it doesn't get in the way because it's easier to see without the lineman rope. But normally I would pass the lineman rope around, clip it to my hip so I'd be totally safe. But I've got my suede right here I'm gonna pull up, clip that into one of those continuous loops. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step up and clip my nader. I'm gonna step up and clip my nader into the second continuous loop. Then I can go ahead and climb up the stick. Once 
once I'm once all my weight is on the nader, then I can go ahead and release the second carabiner and put that off to the side. Now I can climb up the rest of the way and I'm up. Same process. I would have my lineman rope right here holding me into the tree so I could go ahead and set my next stick and continue to climb. Process is the same way coming down. First loop goes into the nader right there now all my weights in the nader then I clip on to the second loop with my suede and I can step down onto that my nader comes up and off and I'm back down to the ground hey thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you checking out the video hopefully this helps you it's gonna make you a better hunter a lighter more mobile hunter check out some of my hunting and fishing videos if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out some of my other videos if you would and remember to get outdoors